Alright, um, I decided to help this student. Yeah, she actually post uh comments on my YouTube channel and said that she already tried this question for a uh, many hours and then he still cannot solve it. So, yeah, I, I, I guess the name pronounced as Michael Chong. Yeah, so basically he trying to ask me to help him at this function question. So, yeah, let's check it out. So this function question basically is like um okay um gx okay we have the gx is equals to px plus q and then we have the g square x equals to 49x minus 32 and then they ask us to find the p and q so basic basically this kind of questions right if you want to do what you can do is uh you will need to do uh the comparing methods so what what you need to do is like like this is basically you need to substitute the uh, gx into the gx so basically okay i will i will not touch about this thing i will just leave it here but i will start from this step so i will sub the gx into the gx in order to get so-called g2x so what happens to sub gx into the gx is will be um this is my gx is px plus q right so this one will become px plus q and my bracket here why why i didn't write x here because i'm going to sub my gx into my x here so what is my gx again my gx will be px plus q so this is what happens for my g2x so basically i will get uh, p square x plus q q plus q and this is plus pq plus q all right and what is the g square x according to what you have it here it will be 49x minus 32 49x minus 32 and then from here you have p square x plus pq plus 9 okay now what i want to do is i want to do a comparing methods when i say the comparing methods means what means i will compare the side with the x and i will compare the side without x so do you see the x here and then on the other side of my equals sign here i have an x here and then all this is without x so this is without x all this will be without x so therefore from the comparing here i know the p square must equals to 49 so p square will equals to 49 normally this kind of question in exam they will tell you our uh, p must be bigger than zero or something like that or if the question doesn't say anything then your p just square root positive negative 49 p is just positive negative 7. okay then i will comparing the constant which is the value without x here then i will have negative 32 uh will equals to pq plus q and i just got my p is positive 7 or negative 7 let's say it's positive 7 then i have 7q plus q here then i have 8q equals to negative 32 then my q will be negative 4 all right let's say my p is a negative 7 my p is a negative 7 then negative 32 equals to negative 7 q plus q you realize i have 6 negative 6 q right so q will equals to negative 32 over negative 6 because the negative 6 here i'm going to throw to the other side then q is just um i don't know 16 over 3. yeah you have two different answer of q and two different answer of p yeah, this is how we solve this kind of question by using quite famous methods here is a like comparing methods this method is very useful so example today i have ax plus b equals to our uh, 3x plus 10. by comparing methods we know 3 is equals to a so i can say a equals to 3 and b will equals to 10 because b is a number without x so b is just equals to 10 all right so i actually doing something like this uh at this question so 
Yeah, this question actually is not too hard, but yeah, I just so pity this student actually. He said he actually tried this question for half day and then still cannot solve. Yeah, I hope this question you do find helpful. And I'm sorry for some Mandarin words because some students cannot read Mandarin, I understand. So this is a reason why I, I explain what this student want. Anyway, this is just a math question. I hope you enjoy this function questions. Alright, I see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.